thought, without a smile, and without a tears, for the soul which it takes. Our heart appears, our eyes swollen with tears, but yet we must live on, living for those who have left us behind. Lord, grant me the strength to change the things I can, the courage to accept those I cannot change. And grant me, Lord, the wisdom to know the difference. Good morning. morning, darling. Not the great side prayers again. Look, I've lived with you for three years now. And each morning you wake up from your sleep, you have this dodge on your lips. Pauline, I was by the sun again. And I was holding, holding a prayer book in your hand and probably burning your head in tears. Look. You had the same dream yesterday, and probably you repeat it again tomorrow. I suggest you just, you know, just do away with all this. Everyone called him Mr. P. And growing up, I thought that was what every father should be called. <laughs> so I woke up one morning. I said to my mom, where is Mr. B? And in laughter, she pointed to my father, just walking in from the backyard. Then I said, good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. B. B. Yes. Have I told you this story before? A thousand times, Joyce. A thousand times. <laughs> 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 we'll be late for work. Yeah. yeah. Get up. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Good morning, Pat. It's a sunny day today, isn't it? It is, madam. 28 degrees Celsius. Tea or coffee, madam? Tea, my dear. One tea bag. Spice with ginger. A cold tea spice with ginger for the cultists. Good morning, ma'am. How's my friends doing today? Splendid, ma'am. Hmm. You don't know how elated I am to hear that. Mm. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Auntie Pat. Uh, so what do we have for breakfast today? Oh, it's Monday morning, sir. You always keep your breakfast on Mondays. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Oh, you see why you need to walk down the aisle soon? You need a wife that will serve you breakfast in bed. Not again, Mom. Yes, sir. We talked about this all through the night. And we're not about starting another sermon today. Hmm. I simply don't understand why. A young, rich, elite, suave man of 32 will drive around town and not find a wife. Alarming, I must say. Well, on the contrary, maybe, um, maybe I'm seeing someone. Tata. Are you seeing someone that I don't know? So it seems madam.
anything? Well, um, to borrow your regular word. <laughs> Splendid. Mm -hmm. oh. I missed you. I missed you too, honey. But you'll be late for your meeting. Oh, who cares about meeting? <laughs> I mean, who cares about... I don't care, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're taking an overdose. Oh, but... enough that number. Sorry, uh, does it have any side effects? Well, it could make you get some... Um... Honey? Oh, no. Let's go. Business. What about pleasure? Well, after you've made your first Monday morning meetings, you know the Blue Boot contract is not one to be toyed with. Yes. Well, anyway, uh, maybe you give me a, a good luck kiss. <laughs> I mean, for the road. Mm. Wish me. Mm. Huh? <laughs> mm. Get walking, stop. Miriam? Yes, Call me the housekeeper. You demanded for me, my daughter. Yes, Father. Miriam? Yes, ma'am. Out. Yes, ma'am. Closer. You clean my son's room every morning. Seven days a week, madam. How can one tell when a man is truly in love? I mean, surely there must be love notes, cards, flowers, perhaps a photograph. Have you seen any of this in his room? Mm. No, madam. Hmm, strange, I must say. I suppose young ladies these days do not send love cards to their lovers. It's hard to tell, madam. Do me a favor. The next time you swing a broom in his room, look out for every piece of paper, love notes, cards, perhaps a photograph. I must know who it is that has my son's heart in her hands. Okay, madam. Aha, uh -huh, one more thing. Surely you know how to use a phone. Oh, certainly, yes, madam. Then it's necessary you go through his text messages. Your wish is my command. Okay.
Tell me that. You know, you always talk to me about all your dates. So today shouldn't be an exception. I'm already out. I can't wait to get it. <laughs> okay. You're not in a rush on a weekday. Oh, mom. I'm trying to slow down a little bit these days. You know, I've got things on my mind. Other things like? Things like getting married. <laughs> push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Slow down. You're in a fast lane, mom. Take it easy. Don't keep me waiting, young man. Then I won't let the cat out of the bag, old man. At least I should know her family name. Hmm. Okay. Let me have to help you a little bit. Friday, 12 noon. I'm bringing her home for lunch. Tell me it's a joke. Well, if I'm lying, then I'm dying. Stretch it! Stretch it! I am going to tell the cook. Friday's lunch is going to be a bad bite. No, mommy, you don't have to take it overboard. It's not a fist. Really? No. My only child, my only son, the heir apparent to the Bratsons is bringing in his bride for lunch? And you tell me it's not a fist? I could put this in the news, young man. Oh, now I have to. And you better let her wait for the wedding proper. <laughs> Yeah, this is the best news I've had in years. Pat! Pat! Yes, mother. No, 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 what do you have, what do you have, what do you have? 
Uh, I have a text message here. Bring it out to me. Her name is Joyce. What? Joyce. Joyce. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Text message. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, 10 p.m. If I could give a million roses, I would. If I can write your name in the stars, I would. But above all, if you could love me forever, I'll say I would. <laughs> then I went to Friday. You know what? You have to call the hairdresser. I have to change my hair and touch up my nail as usual. Red. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, son. Hi. How are you? Hi. Um, Joyce, meet my mother, Lady Mona Lisa Bryan. Um, good afternoon, Mom. Afternoon, young lady. Mom, yeah. she's my heart's treasure. Mm. I hold her so dearly to my heart. Joyce Adibia. Adibia? Yes, Mom. Sounds Igala. Uh, Ibo, ma. Ibo. I see. You're welcome to my home. Our home. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Coincidentally, lunch is prepared. So I suggest we talk while we eat. Perfect, Mom. After you? No, you're the host. After you, Mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You like it? Nice. I must say I'm impressed, son. You have an eye for beauty. I'd rather use the word. You have taste in beauty. <laughs> well, um, I haven't heard anything about her family name, background, and that I'm particularly interested in. Um, my parents are late, but my father worked with the Nigerian Railway Corporation, and then um, my mom was a full-time housewife. <laughs> exactly what do you mean by the firm railway worker? Uh, mom, her dad... I is... believe the young lady can speak for herself. Huh? Um, uh, I met them... Um, my dad worked with the Nigerian Railway Corporation. Uh, as what, Joyce? I I was I was too young to know why my dad died when I was fourteen. Fourteen? My son here, when he was fourteen, was already touring the world, and he knew every name, every country in Europe. Mom. Yes, be that as it may, and. What do you do for a living? Uh, she's my, she works with me in the office. I mean, of all my staff, she's the most committed and I mean, enterprising. Interesting. Well, um, I must uh, say that my wish is for my son to have a woman by his side so that he can stay focused in managing his father's empire. I must say you're a charming young woman, Joyce. Beautiful woman. Mom, she's that woman by my side. See, of all my previous affairs, it's been all about the money, the wealth, the glamour. It's all about Ken, Brown, Bradson. Never about me. 
But with Joyce here, it's, it's a different ball game. She's honest. She's sincere. Mom, she, she loves me. How poetic. Um, my idea you would like to use the convenience. Second door on the left down the corridor. And those were cheap clothing she's putting on. Mom! Granted, she's intelligent, reserved, mannered. Educated, but she's not your class. Class? Yes, class. Social reputation, family name, family heritage, clout, prestige. She's got none of that. And I can go on and on. You're judging her based on class? Of all human qualities? You're taking your assessment, your justice as class? I mean, class? You are from both extreme ends, son. You need a woman from the same class as you do. A woman whose family has got a name. A name like the Brian Bratson is not a nameless wretch. I can't believe this. You had better do something. You see, that so-called nameless wretch is going to be my wife and your daughter-in-law to be. Nobody can stop that. I can see you've made up your mind. I already fixed a date. Now listen to me, son. Why don't you take out some time and uh, think this over? Mom, Mom, just listen to yourself. Are you hearing yourself? Hello? giving such an impression about my mother. Her eyes, her voice, she sounded so harsh. Come on, Joyce. I don't want you to read unnecessary meanings to my mom's lines. That's the way she talks. I mean, she's just a liberated woman. Very authoritative, okay? She, uh, she's, she's delighted. I mean, can. Oh, fine. Um, she thinks you're beautiful. And that you'll make a good wife. Just that. Just that. I mean, what else? Uh, anyway, uh, what do you think about my house? I mean, we're supposed to inherit this. Married. It's massive. Well, uh, let me borrow a leaf from my father's lines. Simply cause it's intimidating. <laughs> hmm? And you are enticing. Stop it. <laughs> Your mom could work in an us, you know. Well, I, I can't remember telling her you were a Catholic now. <laughs> mm. So what about you hanging out in my arms this way? Having like my friends? With you in my arms? Soaring into another level? And as a journey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Without weight. 
Ah oh, no, not really. I was actually in a hurry, but just decided to stop by and say hi. She comes back, just tell her I'll check out my office during the week. Alright. Davis. Yeah. Is everything alright with you? <laughs> Why? Don't I look okay? Well, just that um the artist thinking. Wait. Especially since the news of um, Joyce's and engagement. Yeah, actually, I the news was a shocker when I heard it. Mm -hmm. Was not really expecting it so soon. I'm the best man anyway, and I guess you're supposed to be the chill bridesmaid. Yeah, right. I think you should have asked her out earlier. I can see it in your face. You're a lot better, aren't you?
fry smell? Mm. You like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Smell good? Mm-hmm. Very good. Aren't you over loving me? Great question. You want an honest answer? Mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> You know, you've given me so much this past one week. Mm. Uh, you've given me virtually everything and that car. Well, uh, why don't you wait till it's summer? Location, London Lodge, Cape Town, South Africa. For the second one. <laughs> no, you're joking. Joke? Uh -huh. It's not in my vocabulary, girl. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I'm so overwhelmed. Um... Where are you taking me now? As soon as we're done with this place, um, we'll go to a Chinese restaurant. Welcome. Chinese cuisine. Then we'll take a ride in my new one down here. <laughs> well, after you, my friends. All right. Uh, excuse me, my princess. Oh. Hello, mother. Kennedy. I hope you remember you still have a company to run. Competent staff that can stand on my behalf. You know, Your that's what they're paid for. How dare you? Your father did not toil to build that company so it can be left in the hands of competent staff. Now you listen to me, young man. Mm. Hello, Kenny. She sends our regard. He he hello? Mom, she sends our regards too. Are you there? Uh, she says she's expecting us as soon as we're through with baby making. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. Kennedy, I did not say that. <laughs> Mom, she's saying she loves you, okay? All right, and your son is saying, I love you. Ta-ta. Kennedy! Ken Ken Isn't life beautiful with you around me? Beautiful. And I love you. I am a baby. Yep, yep. <laughs> to us. Go and see him. 
Joyce, don't just get yourself worked up again. It's doing fine. I'm sure to come and see you soon. It's okay. We're only waiting for the result of the X-ray. I guess all you need now is just rest. If can you see me by my side? Lynn, I need him now. I understand. It's okay. Come on. Look, we don't need this. Are you sure he's okay? Okay, it's fine. You just have to trust me. Yeah. It's fine. Just the month of March. And you're here strapped to a hospital bed. Oh, my son. My son, Ken, I'm not going to allow you to ruin yourself. I'm not going to allow you to batter the family name and prestige, all because of a worthless gold digger. A nameless girl from no background. I've always known Ken to be a very reckless driver. That's one vice he never could overcome. Don't you speak to me about my son. I never gave my blessings to this despicable union in the first place. This whole thing has been one big costume party. It's time we get real and stop this pretense. Ken had made his choice. A choice I think should be respected. Not enough of this, okay? When my son awakes, you tell him I was here. Sitting by his bedside, I'm off to see the doctor, and uh, Pat will get his food. I'll come back later. What do I need to know, doctor? I'm afraid the next ray shows that uh, she has a little crack on her spinal cord. How do you mean? Well, if it remains just a crack, then with the physiotherapy, she might regain feelings. But um, if the situation deteriorates, I'm afraid she might have difficulties working again. What are her chances? Um, medically, they are slim. But you, you don't give up on her chances uh, because patients with similar conditions have been known to regain feelings in a couple of months. A couple of months? Wait, are you saying my son's life will be frozen for months? Tending to a paralyzed woman? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, my doctor, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Madam, your Chinese soup is ready. Take it away. It's your... I said take it away! Oh, dig. How did she get her hands into my son? You called, madam. Get out of my sight! Patricia! Have I finished with you? I'm sorry, madam. How come you left my presence? I'm sorry, madam. Uh, where is that, um... What, madam? The soup! And where are you taking it to? Put it on the dining table! Where is my eyes to Your eyes there!
stick of soup like that. Yes, I said put it off. Okay, you win. Instead of you to assist in bringing up bags upstairs, you want to light the cigarette. I'm sure your mother will be ashamed of what you've become. <laughs> really? Why don't, why don't you think about your future? I mean, about getting married, settling down. Like I knew this was what all this was about. Marriage. I could smell it. Give me a break. Please shut up. Oh, Dad, listen, listen, listen. This is no military regime, okay? Look, I'm a grown-up woman. And I can take care of myself. Oh, a grown-up, motherless, uncultured. Did the... you say uncultured? Well, I have heard that like a million and one times. Why don't you look for another word to use? You make tears come to my eyes. <gasps> You make me want to cry. <laughs> Look, why don't you why don't you try and live the kind of life your mother wanted you to live? Get married, settle down. Huh? Well, it's obvious she don't want me around the house. So I'd rather step aside so you could have your space. Alright? Enjoy your life. Maybe I won't have wrecked her this way. I think you could make her happy. Pauline, please. When she wakes up, I. Why are you crying? 
It was all my fault. You want me and I won't listen. Maybe if, if I just listened to you, I would have gotten into all this trash. It wasn't your fault. Please stop crying. It's okay. Uh, anyway, um, the doctor said I'll be discharged tomorrow. But I, I promise you, I'd always come here to see my heart's love every day. What did the doctor say? Nothing worth a mention. You have to take it easy, you know. You have other choking responsibilities as well. I can't get it. I mean, I'm asking. I mean, the question is, why? Why is it me now? I mean, barely three weeks. Just three weeks more, and this whole hell is letting loose on me. My son, you know I hate to see you hurt. I hate to see you torn apart like this. I'm already torn apart, Mom. Do you want to eat something? Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. You have to see those, Mother. Oh, this is us. Let him in, let him in. Oh, my God. I'm going to do it. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Hello. The old man and himself. Oh, yes, that's oh, me. Oh, My darling, Hi. Oh, what a <laughs> How are you? Oh my god, you're looking very beautiful, my yes, dear. Yeah. Oh, please, please sit down. Come on. Hi, Chelsea. Hi. How are you doing? Um, okay. Sorry. Oh my god, how's your heart work? Well, well, well. You know the way they say it. 
Johannesburg is Africa's Paris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I really did not know this is where my father was bringing me to until I got to the gate. God, this is a place that was it is a pleasure seeing you. Oh, you're right. Mm -hmm. Ken? Sir? Is anything the matter? Oh, no, Dad. Um, my wife is hospitalized. I should be on my way now because I, I need to take my clothes and take a lunch to her. Oh, oh, how romantic. Well, I never knew that men still do those kind of stuff these days. That's okay. How is she doing anyway? Well, she's partially paralyzed, so big shame. Oh, what a shame. I gotta go now. Maybe I should um, walk into his car. Yeah, that's all right. I was very nice of you. So, how have you been doing? I'm fine, fine. Just, just turn off real beautiful. Yeah, well, she's still living. <laughs> 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 yeah, so. Oh yeah? Well, I can't remember making a campaign out of it. Please, cut out the sarcasm. It's over seven years. Oh, so you remember? I bet there should be some form of telephone services in South Africa. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no, you're talking like you're expecting my call, right? It's all right, anyway. Uh, there's no need doing that. Nice to see you. I know you're okay, though. Well, it isn't nice to know you're married. Anyway, I got to run, okay? I'll see you again. Keep running. Keep running. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Honey, Bonina and um, Davis were here today. For real? Mm-hmm. And they brought um, some flowers and um, beverages. Oh. That's good. Well, I, I brought love to my baby. <laughs> I know. Mm. Just that I missed you last night. Hey, don't even go there, all right? Well, the least you can get is a kiss. <laughs> okay. So can I have the kiss now? Okay, your kiss. Just one kiss. <laughs> Excuse me, one minute. Hello. Um, how did you get my number? Oh, come on, Ken. I only asked your mom for your complimentary card. And of course, you had your number on it. Okay, um, right now, um, I mean the uh... That's okay. You know, I had a little headache, so I had to run home. Baby, oh, my head is aching. And my waist, oh, my waist bites me so hard. Baby, right now, oh, my thighs, my thighs are so tight. Listen, um, why don't you... Um... I knew he was weak. I might be wrong, you know. But that is if he doesn't call me back. But well, sadly, I know he will. So, honey, what's that? Oh, my, my agent. My agent. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. So welcome. Oh, your kiss. Oh, fine, your kiss. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hello? Uh, Thera told you to call me back. I'm in the hospital right now, okay? Fine. Sorry about that. No, no. I'm no, no. no, no. no, no. no, no. 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 Where's my mother? 
She's not soon downstairs. But she's not there! Maybe she's at the back of the house. See what you've cost me? What is it? See what you're costing me. What happened to you? It's not important. What were you thinking, ma? Are you all right? You're damn right and not all right. You're talking to your mother. Mom, why did you give my number to, to Chessie? She's been calling me all day and I don't like it. What's wrong with giving your number to Chessie? Oh my God. She's a family friend. Besides, both of you went to the university before she went to South Africa. You must date her, don't you? That's the part I don't want to know. And who says you can run away from your past? I am your shadow. I, I thought you said you, you were in your house. I thought you said you were going to call me. Well, being in my house was like two hours ago. Now and I'm here. I have come to see you. If I, if I may ask, uh, what for, please? What, what happened to you? What has been eating you up? Because this is certainly not the can I used to know. You're what, right, my dear. What, what, this can is a married man now. And who ever told you that married men should not have a wonderful life, sweetheart? Hmm? I mean, you could take your wife around town, take trips abroad, go to the movies. Come on. Marriage could be fun, darling. Huh? And you certainly are not having fun at all. No. You're not. And it's not good yeah. enough. Yeah. Young couple. I'll be in the house. Okay. You see, all I want to do is to calm down. you got married. I know your wife is, uh, is paralyzed and I'm taking uh, care of her. And you are Ken Broughton. You also need to be loved and taken care of. Come on, sweetheart, don't you ever forget that. Okay. Take me home. I came in a cab. I thought you don't do cab. I had to hurry down to see you. I was very, very worried. Now you're gonna come with me, yeah? Oh, are you scared? I don't mind. Why is such a beautiful? Oh, because she loves me. Yeah. What do you want from me? She I have to be leaving now. Oh, you're so sweet. 
You said you don't want anything to drink? Oh, I'll book you without a drink, okay? Let me just go. Come back here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm used to you. No, what? What the hell is this? Did I do anything wrong? What are you getting at? Listen, just relax, okay? I'm just trying to calm the tension in your head. No, Chessie. No. Do me a favor. What's the meaning of this? I want to scare you again. Hmm? You're acting like you don't want me. What's that? Do you know that? Just trying so hard. Trying to fight your urge. You want to see me, but not touch me. What do you want? You know what I want. Any problem, madam? Please. I want to call my husband. Okay, what's his number? Two. Four, three. Double two. Double six. You don't have to worry so much. No Ken. Probably he stopped with one of those his official business. That doesn't stop him from picking my calls. He's not picking your calls? He's not. I called him twice yesterday. He didn't even pick. But he didn't bother to call back. That's strange, I must say. But you don't have to worry so much. I'll, I'll check him over at his office on my way out. Please do. You know, I really want to know if he's okay. I'm so worried. I will. I'd like you to relax and get these worries off your mind. <laughs> For now. Davis, you know I can't. I am worried, you know. What if he's in any sort of trouble? What no, if... No, no. You can. If you cannot do it for yourself, just do it for me. Okay? I'll check him right now on my way out.
like the room. I'm actually taking time to make you so comfortable. Yes. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, well, I'm sure you'll be happier here than you were in the hospital. soon get okay just rest and that's all you need to do rest and you recover okay thank you very much all right um let me rush downstairs and make sure the maids bring you something tasty for lunch okay i don't want to eat why not I mean, you need to be strong i want to go downstairs i don't want to stay in this room alone why can't someone carry me downstairs? Why? Well, um, I don't think it's advisable. With your condition now, I don't think it's okay. I want to stay with you. Okay. Please, don't leave me. Come on, baby. I'm right here. I don't right know here. what the matter is, but sweetie, please, don't leave me alone here. Baby. Please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. Your mom said you won't be sharing my room with me. Honey, why? We ought to be together. Or oh, aren't you my husband anymore? Of course I am your husband. You are all I've got. I'm all you have. I don't know, but it's quite unfortunate that Nurse Linda will have to be sleeping in your room. I don't think it would be nice for me to share a room with both of you ladies. Honey, I think it's an arrangement meant for just the moment. Yes. Just for the moment. That's the spirit. Okay? Just believe that this is just a momentary position. And you have overcome. Now, without asking your opinion, let me run downstairs and make sure I get you something tasty. And you don't have to say no. Okay? I'm coming. Idea to take good and proper care of you. And I promise you, I'll give you the best. Thank you so much. My husband has told me so much about you and how good you are with people in my kind of condition. Well, I've recorded successes with all my patients, and I promise you, your own case will not be different. Okay? Hmm. I got to leave now, okay? I make sure you could have a nice rest. I got to sort of some few things. Okay. Um, yes. Again. See, look at that wheelchair over there. I promise you, in a short while, you will get up from it and be on your feet and smile again. Okay? So don't think of that too much, alright? Huh? I got to leave now, so. Yeah. She's a lovely girl with an angelic disposition but very unsuitable for my son. Yeah, I, I know what you mean, you know. But your son, he's already made his choice. Yes, 
The choice already has been made. But she will never hold my son. Never. Jesse. You know who my son is. What he goes for. He needs a charming, terrific, exotic girl like you. By his side. Oh, as his wife. Please. Ah, oh, well, you know, but the vows have already been made. And I think it's rather too late. Oh, don't you think so? Mm. Wait. Would you want a divorce? Mm -hmm. Mm. There are no vows that cannot be broken. A man can be made to commit adultery, even against his wish. It's called the power of a woman. Mm -hmm. Your wife is, um, she's beautiful. Thank you. But I just think she's, um, rather too bush for you. Did you say bush? Yeah, bush. Like, giving me the crepes. Yuck, right? Yeah. Well, if you are thrown out of a car with injuries to your spine, you have no choice and look more bush than you think she's looking now. No. Mm, never would I look that bush. Trust me. You're right. Whatever. I'm sure you probably now think you should give her all of your time, right? For real, this is where I'm going to be. I'm not going to work tomorrow. I just stay right here and I'll take care of my wife, okay? Why is that? She's Why? my wife, for crying out loud. Oh, come on. Don't rub it in. Okay, you go. Take care of your wife. And I'll be right here when you're bored taking care of your bush wife. I'll make you high, make you feel good. You know what I mean? Well, let me just go, uh, see you out, and I'll be down shortly, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, stop harassing me, girl. I don't like it. Do I want it? You're right. Yeah. So, just go give her a few minutes. And I'll be right here waiting for you. Ready? Stop harassing me. Say you don't like it. Well, I don't like it. someone in my condition especially a married young man just weeks after our wedding everything crashed well he caused the accident but he has already apologized, you know, and he has continued to apologize, showing great remorse every minute, every hour. Uh -huh. I've forgiven him. I just thank God he came out of it alive. Well, you're such a lucky girl. I mean, with an attractive husband, devoted mother-in-law, and a nice house to stay. <laughs> well, you're right there, you know. I am really lucky. You know, Ken loves me and that is all that matters to me. I know. But tell me, who was that girl I saw downstairs? Oh, Chessie. Chessie? She's a family friend. Oh. I don't just like her. Why? I don't know, I can't say. I mean, she talks too much. She's a talkative. <laughs> I understand what you mean. But do you 
think she's attractive. I suppose so. But she's not as beautiful as you are. And that is why your husband is so crazy about you. And I suppose he'll be crazier if he sees me walking on my feet. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Please don't go there again. Okay? See, I promise you, I'll continue telling you. Soon or later, you'll get to your feet. It's alright, okay? We'll think about that. So, you get to have some food here. of the night. What? Where are you? My house? No. By my door? No. Jesse? Came a little late than expected. Oh, it's it's okay. I'm fine. And you know I'm always home to welcome my darling husband. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. I hope Linda is taking good care of my husband. Oh, she's been terribly nice. You know, mom really made a nice choice. And I'm grateful. Mm. Well, I'm happy to know that mom, for once, did this right. I'm also glad to know that you're beginning to understand her. <laughs> At the start of this whole thing, you were skeptical about you know, things, but now you're in the picture. Well, um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be ungrateful. You know, it's just that I hated the idea of us not being together like we used to be in our own home. Oh, my baby. Sure. And the arrangement of you sleeping so far away from me got the better part of me. Think of it. It's okay, I promise. I mean, henceforth, I'll not be too far away from my, that my baby. <laughs> right. I'm honey, what happened to your shirt? My shirt? Yeah, it's not button hurt. Oh! I, I was in a rush, you know, that's to tell you the tediousness of my job. <laughs> you know, I, I just wish um, I was on my feet. At least my boy won't have to go out dressed like this. Thanks, Mom. Now I'm better. Anyway, just um, go take your bath and relax. You must have had a hectic day. I can say that again. Um, I want my baby to get well fast. Mm -hmm. for breakfast so I can call the cook to start preparing it. <sighs> Sweetheart, well, would you like for breakfast? Uh, no, not hungry. 
will tend to you until Nurse Linda comes back in the evening. Uh, well, I prefer Paulina. I mean, Paulina knows me well enough uh, and she can take care of my needs while Nurse Linda is out. Besides, I can't stand antipat. Listen, I'm trying my best to make you comfortable here. I don't know why you're being so difficult. Mommy, I'm not being difficult. I just prefer Paulina. She knows me better than Auntie Pat. So I don't know what I'm saying in that case. No, I... Hello. Um, I don't know what's going on. On what's happening? Ask your wife. I mean, I'm trying to make her understand that the housekeeper can tend to her while Nurse Linda comes back later. But she just seems so adamant. Adamant? Yes. You know, she insists on bringing in Paulina against my wishes. No, that ain't right. As a matter of fact, I'm done with this discussion. Just excuse me. Talk to me. Oh, come on, honey. What's, what's going on? Look, I think my mother is right. How will you bring in Paulina while mom and Auntie Pat are here? You make them sound so, I mean, incompetent. And I know that's not what you want to say. Come to think of it, Paulina is my secretary. My employee in the and office. So was I before we got Pink, married. It's a different ball game here. It's not the same. You know, Paulina is my friend, and I just felt it would be nice to have her around. You know, someone I can talk to. That's all. Agreed. But I think Mom should be allowed to run the house. Okay. Make it sound like you're not appreciative of all she's doing. You don't want to start what you can't finish. I'm right here. My pretty daughter. Mm. How's your daddy? He's fine. He's kicking with life. That's nice to hear. Ken is upstairs with cry cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know. It's, it's very hard to cope with loneliness and all that. My son cannot be tied to her bedside forever. Yes, he has a life to live. That reminds me. Why don't you go upstairs to his room and wait for him?
wasn't expecting you. You're not supposed to expect me. I'm your shadow, I told you. Linda, I need to talk to you. Yes, go on. Uh, I'm sorry about what you saw this afternoon. It was just uh, unfortunate. I mean, considering my condition, and all this time and all that, I mean, you have to understand that I'm a human being. I couldn't help myself, you know? And you've got to understand that your wife is a human being too. I mean, she's your wife. No matter the condition she is, she belongs to you. And this condition, which I believe is temporary, uh, are you sure it's temporary? Yeah, it is. See, you are the one who lost your faith in her. Hey, stop it, Linda! What happened was just a mistake. And I would not want to hear it anywhere. Because if it's stress, and if it's press around, it's going to worsen her situation. And that will wreck my marriage. And I will not take that lightly. Is that a threat? Oh, no, 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 it's not a threat. I mean, it's to foster a good relationship between us. I mean, a better understanding. Treat it more like a caution. Hmm? Now, I, I want you to hide it in the pit of your heart and never let it out. Bingo. Well, uh, you just won yourself uh, a double salary increase. I'm okay with whatever I negotiated with your mom. I won't receive anything from anybody. And if you don't mind, you got to continue my work. Excuse me.
Oh my god. You look so tired. Why don't you let Linda take you to bed so you can sleep and gain some more strength? I don't think sitting this way is good for your condition. I thank you very much for your concern. You know, but I don't want to sleep now. Why not? I want to stay here with you. Chat with you. You're my husband. Yeah, I know, but, um, you know, I, I have to go to the factory. I mean, I, I, I need to know what's going on, you know? Today is Saturday. Oh, that's true. You have to rest. I talk with your wife. But we've been talking since morning. Do we have to talk all through the day? I mean, she doesn't If you do it for me today, it will be the greatest sacrifice. Just... Do it for your wife who has been on her back for a very long time. The factory won't run away because you're with me today. Will it? That's true, baby. That's true. Honestly, I, I wish I could talk to you over and over again. I mean, talk to you all through the day. You know, but... Um, Please, I want to beg you to please understand, you know? Understand what? Just understand that I... What I to... do you want me to understand? Just... Just go. Go away from me. Joyce? Don't call me. Joyce, what is all this? Don't call me! I don't make a mockery of the love I have for you. You can go to your factory. Or let us still fly away with whoever, but just go. What is it? I don't want to see him. Oh, oh, it's okay, okay? It's all right. Now, please, Mr. Brian, I'm very sorry. You have to go now. I mean, you have to leave my patients alone, please. All right, uh, I'll leave it if it will make her happy. How could you do this to a man? After Sorry, I'll have to go. Take it easy. Give you my heart. My soul and my body. Take it easy. You'll be trying to know why. I'm left me on the left. Betrayed my love, left me all alone. Oh no, tell me why. Oh, can I come now? Oh, why? Why, oh, why? Why is life so wicked? yourself so much again. It's okay. Please. <clears throat> mm. I must say I find your mood swings and sulking quite amusing, Joyce. I don't understand. Of course I don't expect you to understand. You are completely buried in self and you're beginning to take it out on all those around you, particularly Chessie. Chessie? Mm -hmm. Did she complain to you? Of course not. She's too nice and polished for that. But I can tell she was offended. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Yes, you don't seem to like our friends, which I find awkward. My dear, see, now that you're married to my son, my only child, the heir apparent to the Bradsons. It becomes totally expedient that you begin to like and welcome those we like and welcome. It's got nothing to do with me not liking your friends. I was nice to everybody down there. That's what you're yes, you don't like her. Because she intimidates you and you can't help showing it. Intimidates me? Yes. 
What for? All I know is that I've never been rude to her. I was as nice to her as I was to everybody. Mama, is something spoiled. Oh, please. Don't always quit yourself. This is absurd. This conversation is getting out of hand, mother in law. Chassis means absolutely nothing to me. And I don't even understand what this argument is all about. Just leave me alone. Leave my room. Just go. To let this sickness get the better part of your brain. I mean, don't let it turn into a shrew. A shrew? You heard me. Me? I mean, I, I don't like the way you've been snapping at everybody lately. You snap at me, you snap at my mother, you snap at everybody. Very soon you will stop seeing anybody except Nurse Linda and your gorgeous Davis, who's always seeking attention. How dare you. you say such a thing to me? And how dare you mock Davis? Who was just trying to be sweet? And who is your most loyal Ken. So literally, okay. I'm, I'm more devoted than to David than any of my friends. Then you know it. I'm sorry if you think I was trying to get at you more. You know, you shocked me. I didn't even know I was like that. I never even felt it. I don't mean it. I don't mean it that way, okay? Please don't take me so seriously. Uh, I mean, now, where's your sense of humor? Huh? I didn't find what you just said funny. Well, maybe I was trying to make you laugh and I can't make you laugh anymore. I, I'm sorry and I want you to forget it, okay? You didn't hear it. Hello. A baby. And I love hearts. I heart love. Come on, girl. You. Hi, buddy. Don't touch me. You know, why don't we get our own very home? You know, so that we can be together and fit enough to be taken by car now. Superb idea. Believe me, honey, you you ain't fit yet to run a home. Okay, but can't we go away, you know, and be together, even if it's for a few days? I won't mind. Please. Angel, you're not fit yet. Believe me. Okay, let me make you a promise. As soon as you can walk, I promise you a 
second honeymoon to South Africa. Just the two of us. You know how I used to be. Remember? <laughs> I remember. I thought it would be so good. You know, I'm I'm so lucky to be recovering in your mother's mansion. Okay, I'm happy too. And everybody's so good to me. But I am not jealous of Chelsea. And uh, honestly, I don't want you to think so. Not the slightest need to be. Okay. Okay. You still don't think I'm a shoe, right? We're not quarreling now, right? Okay. If I ever use that word, if I, in my slightest mistake, I use such words at you, believe me, it's inconsequential. I mean, it's just a slip of tongue on my part. I didn't mean it. I mean, how can I call you a shrew? Sorry, honey. Please forgive me, okay? Am I forgiven? I've already forgiven you. while I was out. Yeah, <laughs> I did. It's just that it's so obvious my mother-in-law doesn't like me much. Oh, come on. You know how mother-in-laws could be at times? Most of them gorgeous, lovely, and mostly annoying. So you need to just come off it, totally. But her own case is that she's so possessive of care. And I feel so helpless. I just wish just get up on my feet. I found my own home. Yeah, good. Now you're talking. I mean, you need to do it. I, all you need to do is just to ask him no, about you. No, no, no. I don't want him to miss his overseas trip. You know, he just got this new contract. And I don't want to stand in this way. I know. I know, okay? But you need to think. I mean, don't you think of yourself at times? Think, bro. Ken and I are one. What he wants is what I want. Um, I know you guys are one, but you need to think at the same time. I mean, you need to get up from this condition you are. You have to. And I'll personally talk to him about it. Hey, are you sure this is a good idea? Yeah, sure. Great idea. Cautiously. Yeah, promise. With caution, I will. So let's go upstairs and have a nice shower. I know you missed me so much when I'm back <laughs> now. So we can go to the What I'm talking about is that your wife Joyce needs to get a very clean and conducive environment. She needs to get her from this place, please. Nurse, what do you mean she needs to change her environment? Nurse? What I'm trying to say here is she needs to get a home for herself. Whereby she could be so free, do some certain things to herself, and try to learn how to live the real share. And in short while she'll be so fit. But you and I know. I, I think that thing can wait, okay? Just wait for me by the door, let me get through while I'm doing it. Yes, you and I know that she's not capable of doing any house chores for now. She can't handle any domestic thing. But right here, she has people at her back and call. Whatever she needs, just a snap. You know, and she, she, she got it. So why do you want to leave her alone? And that is the problem. Oh. She needs a home of her own. 
She needs to settle down. Moreover, this is not her house. This is not her home. And this place is so crowded with people. People who don't really care about her. And you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. It's heaven being with you like this. Mm -hmm. Just the two of us, like we used to be. I know. No, I, I wish I could spend more time with you than just this few moments we shared. You know? But each time I think of it, it's just the, I mean, the workload. It keeps piling in the factory. Of course I know. But, you know, sometimes, you know, I just feel you should make out more time for me. Especially on Saturdays, at least for your wife, who is no longer the pretty queen on her feet. I believe you. And I promise, okay? Henceforth, I'll be with you to make you happy. <laughs> to give you good and company. <laughs> Thank you. I will be with you. No, I'll be around. Show you all the love. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love my baby. My son. Yes, now I can see you have forgotten that you have a visitor downstairs. Oh my God! I... A very important one. <laughs> I nearly forgot, Mom. I'll be down shortly. All right. And Joyce, how are you feeling? Good morning, I'm fine. Yes, I can see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, honey, who's the visitor? Um, um, uh, uh, uh Chessie, Chessie, um, uh, Mr. Ben's daughter. Chessie? What's she doing here by this time? Oh no, her, her dad asked her to forward some business proposals to me and that's it. Honey, I thought business proposals should be discussed either in the office or at the factory. No, baby, forget it. Look, business could be discussed or negotiated anytime, anywhere. We could discuss business for lunch, have a dinner date. I mean, you know, anytime in the office. Okay. Oh, now I see my detractors at work. What? Honey. Should anybody come telling you anything about me, cynical, or whatever? Just know I'm the man you've always known. The man you loved. The man you still love. You're the woman I love, okay? It's you. Nobody can ever take your place, okay? So don't ever fret. Don't ever let anybody put a poison, the feeling we have for each other, okay? okay? I love my baby. I love my baby too. I love my boy, that's what you say. <laughs> okay, so okay. Let me try and kiss life into this, okay? <laughs> I love my baby. I love my baby. I love my boy. I ah. <laughs> I kept you waiting. I uh, had to make it up to her. It doesn't matter. You can plant yourself by her bedside because you don't want her to feel your absence. If I 
Well, anyway, how's, how's your dad? It's fine. Come, what's that about you and your dad anyway? This is stage, you seem to care more about my dad than you do for me. Hey, come what, on. Wait, are you guys fighting each other? Oh, come on, what, 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 what are you saying? What are you saying, man? Um, did you see my husband? Uh, is he through with Chessie yet? Chessie? Mm-hmm. I didn't see anybody in the sitting room. You didn't see anybody in the sitting room? Well, he said he was going over some contract papers with her for her father. Um, maybe she went to her father to sort out one of her things. I um, hope you'll find out. Well. hope you'll find well, in that case, you have to take me down to the garden. But it's getting late. I know. Well, I need the evening breeze. It's good for my health. And besides, I can't be locked up in this room all alone with... Of course, I'm going to take you to the garden, okay? But before then, I'm going to slide some nice food I got for you. Hope you enjoy it. Fresh ones. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. All right. Okay. Let me just go have a shower and change the clothes. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Anyway, I, I care about you. You do? Yes. Look, I like you, honey. Oh, you like me a lot. No, that is quite different from love. Married to my wife. Yeah, you're still married how you are a married man, but you call it quotes. What? what? Hey, do you think that you will ever walk again? No? Oh, please. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh, meanwhile, let me go and see her. I left her alone in the room, so I gotta go and house her there. Not so fast. Okay. Stay with me a little bit, okay? Stop, stop. Stop. Because we've been doing this all. I don't care what the job is. You've got to find it. Six. Six.